Angels in America begins performances at the Neil Simon Theater in February. The show was directed by national theater favorite Marion Elliott. Over the years, Elliot has won Tonys for her acclaimed plays War Horse and The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime. We caught up with Marianne to talk about her incredible career, past, present, and future. When did you know you wanted to be a director? I suppose I was quite old. I was about 28 when I decided maybe I could give it a shot. And then it just took off. I mean, I've never had a five-year plan. I've never had a one-year plan. I've rarely had a six-month plan. <laughs> You're doing pretty good. Your latest project is, of course, the incredible revival of Angels in America. Now it's coming to Broadway. Was Angels a dream project of yours? Yes, it was, because I've always loved it. I've never seen it on stage, which wow. is a good thing, I think. If you're going to direct it on yeah. stage, you kind of want to have a clean view of how to do it. And, you know, I'm not the first choice for that play because I'm a straight English woman, but it speaks to me. It really speaks to me. Love, that's a trap. Responsibility, that's a trap, too. You're bringing the majority of this dream cast to Broadway. What's it like? working with these folks in the room. <laughs> it's initially quite scary, I suppose. Do you get intimidated, Marion? Yeah, but you know what? I think everybody does. I think that was the thing that we all felt. We were all a little bit terrified because it's this, to use a word from the play, monolith. And you're standing at the bottom of the mountain looking up at the monolith thinking, crikey, we've got to get right up there and we've got to do it well. When you were first introduced to the property of War Horse, what was your reaction? I felt very excited by it. I thought it probably wouldn't work, or it was a huge risk, but that didn't really enter into it. It didn't matter. It just felt, yeah, this is so exciting. Why, why wouldn't we do this? And not only did your play win multiple Tonys, you also won a Tony yeah. for Best Direction. Marianne Elliott and Tom Morris for War Horse. What was going through your mind when your name was called for a Tony Award? I was swearing internally because I knew I'd have to do a public speech. <laughs> Is this train going to London? You follow up your Broadway debut with a production of The Curious Incident of the Dog in the Nighttime, the first show that I experienced watching a young man with autism. What went through your mind with creating the world? We were just going, well, how are we going to do this journey to London? And how are we going to set it? Are we Are going to set it in a school? Or are we going to set it in a bare stage? And Bunny Christie, the designer, said, if we are trying to imagine this theatre piece in the same way as you read the book, you read the book thinking you're Christopher and you see the world through Christopher's eyes, therefore we have to do the stage piece that way. So the stage piece has to be his brain. It has to be how he sees things. You had New York a buzz, or at least the theater community a buzz, with the fact that you are reviving company. Oh, yeah. With a female Bobby. Yeah. Bobby with an eye. Bobby with an eye, yes. <laughs> Which is the first time it's ever been done, because normally it's played by a guy in his mid-30s, right? Yes. Mid, mid to late 30s. Yes. How'd you get Sondheim to let you do Bobby <laughs> as a female? Sondheim was a little unsure at first because why wouldn't you, you know, he didn't write it that way and as we know Sondheim's very particular about his writing and his lyrics and the music, it has to be absolutely perfectly right for the characters. So he wasn't sure but I persuaded him to let me do a workshop and we filmed it all at the end, the whole thing and then we spoke and he was, I think he was really pleasantly surprised, yeah. So company later this year in the mm. fall. Mm -hmm. What's next for Marianne? <laughs> is it just the theatre or is it bigger than that? I think there'll always be the theatre because it's a hungry beast and it needs to have shows and I like to do those things. Special thank you to the National Theatre for hosting us today and to our sponsors, visit Britain, Norwegian Airlines and the St. Martin's Land Hotel. Be sure to tune in next week as Broadway favourite Jonathan Groff previews his upcoming New York concert. And British director Michael Grandage talks to us about creating Disney's Frozen for the stage. Until then, I'll see you at the theater.